Look at the size of the orange groves. They are giant. Look, they're as far as the eye can see. I guess these are oranges on our left. I don't see any oranges on there. Maybe they've already picked them. That's, I don't I don't see any oranges at all. I don't see any oranges on these. So I don't know what these are. I don't know what they got there, but they're a lot of vegetation out here. Those are orange trees. So I think they're all orange trees. I just think some of them have been harvested, some not. And this is grapes. So those were grape vines that we saw back there. These are grape vines. So they've harvested them and they're planting new ones. These are grapes right here. Look at all this. This is where your wine comes from back there. I don't really think of California as farming community, but it is. California oranges, Florida oranges, California grapes, of course. So friends, this is 166. Look at those mountains out there. Isn't that beautiful? Amazing. Now look at this. These are orange groves. That's real live oranges. And they have a machine that actually shakes these off the tree. So I'm going to show you around the trunk. They actually have a machine that will reach in there and grab that and just shake that tree. And it will shake the oranges off. So this is where your oranges come from. Really interesting. Who doesn't love some orange juice? I sure do. And there's an example of an oil rig. It's right inside the groves right here, or right on the side of the road. Now that one is not pumping, but that thing will pump oil, pump oil, pump oil, pump oil. So friends, this right here is on Highway 166 or Maricopa Highway that you see right here. We turned off of I-5 headed towards Maricopa. Sadly, we were trying to retrace the steps of James Dean the day that he died in the tragic accident, but it turns out that he actually did not go this way. Even though this route is published in many publications, someone that is an expert that is a friend of mine was able to prove that he did not go this way. But I still wanted to show you the things that we saw out in this area, the oil wells, the grapevines, the orange trees, and all that kind of stuff. So that's what this video is. I don't really think of these things when I think of California, but they're very much here. Thank you so much for watching, and we're just going to explore a little bit down Maricopa Highway 166, and then we turn right at Maricopa and go north on 33 and start heading to Blackwell's Corner. Now, this is where they say that a lot of the racers would go. That doesn't mean that James Dean hadn't traveled this way before, but on the day that he passed away, they say that he stayed straight, which would be I-5 and went through Bakersfield and then turned left and went towards Blackwell's Corner. So this is the things that we saw out in this area. Enjoy. Look at all these oil wells. That's where your, your Quaker State comes from, friends. When you go get your Valvoline, it's coming from these wells right here. They're just sucking money right out of the ground. A lot of money. That's big money right there. Big money, big money. What are we talking about? Oh, millions. Yeah, do you know any oil tycoons that are not crazy rich? Yeah. How about the Saudis? You know why they got so much money? What's that? Because of oil. So you can actually hear this thing running. It's a little windy over here. But this thing is just pumping. You can hear it. Look at all these lines that are in the ground. Pipes. Just not even really buried. They're just kind of there.
But that's what a oil well looks and sounds like. So they pump them through these. Look at these lines going up and over. I'm going to walk up to it. So this thing is plunging and creating suction. So when it pushes down, I'm sure that it, the, their valve opens, takes the pressure off, and then it pulls it back up like a plunger. And it has some kind of a sensor on there. You see the line to it, the wire. And I can smell the oil. It's, that's crude. That's what crude oil smells like. And they turn that oil into, so for all you greeny weenies out there, the ones that are like anti-oil, what I want you to think about is this oil is not just for gasoline engines. All that plastic in your Tesla is made out of oil. Yep. So if you stop oil, there's nothing to make a car with. All that plastic that makes it light is made out of oil. That one just started over there. Did you hear it? And this thing has brakes on it. That's brakes right there. It has an electric motor that runs it. So they can actually stop it by applying the handbrake. You see that? Turning the electric off. So if they turned the electric off, it would still have some movement because of um, just the weight and all that kind of stuff. So they could take the brake and put the brake on and stop it. Amazing. And there's a plunger. You see how long it is? And it would have a device here on the end threaded on. That's what they use to plunge it. But you see how long that that thing is, that's what's sticking down here. So where that threaded part is, they would thread on something that would be the plunger, and that's what this is. And then it pulls the oil out and puts it in that pipe right there and sends it down in the ground where it goes through all these series of pipes to a containment tank somewhere. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So yeah, look at all these. As far as the eye could see, I could smell oil. You smell it? Oh yeah. And that's what crude smells like. So when you get the oil that goes in your car, it's refined. And they also uh, use oil to make gasoline. So it's used to make a lot of products, including plastic, for your Tesla. And I'm not against electric cars, but let's not pretend like electric cars are saving the planet somehow. It's, you're just trading the witch for the devil. Look at how large these lines are right here. They're on both sides of us, driving down the road. And those are full of oil. Those are oil pipelines. So if you hear the word oil pipeline, that is what they're talking about. How big these pipelines are. And then they make them go underground so you can drive through them or go around. So they have entrances and exits. road is wavy enough it's hard to hold your camera steady. If you 
how far does those pipes go? I guess they go to those tanks. So we saw all these stacks of stuff just on the side of the road. Is it manure? It smells. It smells, buddy. It smells. Maybe it's, it's wood chips of some sort. Just watch out for rattlers, Trey. Huh? Watch out for rattlers. <laughs> it's a little cold for rattlers. So I think it's brush. What they're doing is chopping this brush up. They're chopping it up and stacking it up. This is all these mounds out here. I thought it was giant ant hills. Yeah, they're taking all this brush and just crunching it up. But it does have a smell to it. But that's what it is, is the just this stuff, I guess, and they're just chopping it up. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, just a bunch of stacks. It's crazy looking. You just never know what you're gonna see when you're driving around. Especially when you get close to the Lurdo Highway. Lurdo. I think a Nerdo probably named Lurdo. Well, these trees are just on the side of the road and they are giant. Look at how tall they are. So on this side, nothing. This side, I think there's an orange grove on the other side. So they planted these real close together to protect the orange grove. Maybe to keep the wind down. I wonder if, yeah, it's blocking something. Military vehicles. Yeah. Did you see those Baja buggies? It's actually Baja, Trey. Baja. It's like I remember a joke that old um, Justin Wilson used to tell. I think it was Justin. He said that he had a... Uh, actually, I'm, I'm telling you wrong. It wasn't Justin Wilson. It was actually Goober. It was George Lindsay. He said that he he had a uh, uncle that, that was... Uh, this wasn't quite right. And he told his uncle that he was going to be going on a trip. And he said, uh, well, where are you going? He said, San Jose. He said, San Jose? That's San Jose. He said, well, when are you going? He said, Hoon and Hula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and watch the Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.